Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here and welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Alert. Guys, we have got some pretty insane stories as usual in today's episode. Oh my goodness, there's some that I have never ever reported on, ever thinking I would report on, but we've got them here today, so make sure you are ready for it. It's gonna be crazy. There's a lot of things in today's episode that refer to things on Hypixel that have never been done. And one of those this week is Hypixel making a Discord. Hypixel tweeted out this week, should we make a Discord with a poll of yes or no? And of course the yes is one. Hypixel then replied to himself saying, lots of large Discord owners say it's very difficult to moderate slash manage. So if we were to do it, it would be quite restrictive to begin with and slowly open up channels. We'll do some research and talk with experienced people in the next few weeks and see if it's a good idea or not. Now guys, this is something I think the community as a whole would really love. For those who don't know, Hypixel has a TeamSpeak channel, and I mean, that's just as good as Skype these days, okay? That is medieval time stuff. Nobody uses Skype or TeamSpeak anymore. It's all Discord. That is the thing. And people for a long time have been asking Hypixel, why don't you switch from TeamSpeak over to Discord? Because that is the current thing, and to stay updated, you definitely need to do that. Speaking of Discords, <laughs> mine is in the description. But yes, regardless, I will keep you updated. Hopefully, Hypixel is going to make a Discord soon. Oh my goodness, that would be crazy. I would love to see what kind of stuff they have in there. Maybe they'll have some tournaments or challenges or... I don't know, I think the Discord with Hypixel could be absolutely awesome. Well, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. But our next story is another crazy one. And this one is about Hypixel Battle Royale. Lyle PD made a forum post this week titled a Battle Royale Development Update, where he says, hey, today we want to inform you that we will not be continuing our work on Hypixel's Battle Royale and that we will be removing it from the prototype lobby. We've been battling for months to create a great and fun core game within Minecraft, but to no avail. Unfortunately, after multiple iterations and internal testing, we couldn't find the fluent and fun gameplay experience within the Battle Royale game we wanted to make. As most of you are probably aware, Minecraft has certain limits on what we can do in it and we weren't able to provide an experience within its limits that were to our standards. Yeah, I've got to say, I think we as a community saw this coming. I mean, there's just too much you can do in Fortnite and PUBG that Minecraft is just not designed for. Once Hypixel Battle Royale came out for the first time and it did really well to begin with and then the next day it was just completely dead, they knew that there was some drastic changes they needed to make and Hypixel just isn't made for that. That's one of the reasons Fortnite takes over rather than Minecraft is because they are not really compatible. They have similar things in them, but one cannot recreate the other and that's the problem here. So hopefully you guys had fun playing that game while you could since it is now removed from the lobby. Well, also in the news, we've got a really huge story this week coming from Spetnix. If you heard his name before, it probably means you have checked the Hypixel leaderboards for the top level because this week, Spetnix hit an all-time Hypixel high. He hit the record for the highest Hypixel player level ever achieved, and he's had that record for quite some time now, but... This week he hit quite the milestone. As you can see right here, Spetnix not only hit the 500 mark, but he is now currently 508. A few months ago, it looked like Skier had absolutely no competition, yet now Spetnix is coming in here with the first 500 level achievement. Guys, I'm not even sure achievement levels go to 500 in the rewards section. I think Hypixel made the level 250 as a cap because they said, well, we don't think anyone's ever going to get here, but if they do, they should have a reward. And Spetnix has not only beat that, He's doubled it. Guys, I've got to give the guy a round of applause, okay? Who does that? Who gets to level 500? That's absolutely insane, man. Big, big congrats. I mean, my goodness, we could be looking at the first player to ever go for 1,000 Hypixel levels. Man, it is just juicy story after juicy story on today's episode of Hypixel Alert. And our next one is no exception. This is probably one of the biggest stories I've covered here on Hypixel Alert. And it's something that the admins on Hypixel are going to have to fix very, very quick. This was a huge miscalculation on their part, and as you can see by the title and thumbnail, we are talking about The Odd Ones Out. Now, for those that don't know, The Odd Ones Out is a YouTube channel with over 8 million subscribers, and they're basically a story time channel where they tell things about their life, and they have them drawn and animated. It's actually really cool. They've got some voiceover and stuff. But regardless, these people don't really play Minecraft too much. But well, you would think he did because this week, a player by the name of the Odds 2 Out got YouTube rank on the server, as you can see here. And so there was nothing going on here, right? Nothing out of the usual. I mean, it seems kind of weird that this guy would play Hypixel, but he sent an application, you know, he told his Minecraft name, and he got the rank. No problem, right? 
Well, that is until people started to figure out that this was not actually his Minecraft name. A YouTube channel by the name of Infamous Swoosh, this channel is basically just like the odd ones out and he does story time videos. But anyway, on April 1st of this year, he made a video titled, Beating Minecraft with James Plays Games, Not Clickbait. Now the reason he has to put in there not clickbait is of course because it was April Fools and no one thought he was actually playing with the odd ones out. And at the four minute and 30 second mark, you can clearly see that the Minecraft username he is playing with is not the odds two out, but instead the odds three out. Now this is just one of many examples throughout the video. I mean, there's constantly, constantly results showing that his name has a three in it, not a two. I mean, there are plenty of other videos on YouTube of this guy playing with the odds one out. So if you guys do not know what that means, it means we have an impersonator on the loose with YouTube Rank. And this is a very dire situation. I mean, YouTube Rank comes with a ton of perks and things you can get. Not to mention, it's known to be a very, very difficult rank to get. They've got a very rigorous application system, so they know that there's no impersonator to get in the rank, but they slipped up this week, unfortunately. And I think the reason this impersonator was able to get YouTube Rank on the server is because the Odd Ones Out has never made a Minecraft Hypixel video on his channel. So with the Hypixel staff having nothing to base the Minecraft username on, they probably read a well-written application and thought, you know, this has to be him. I mean, who else could it be? It seems legit enough. And of course, his name was very similar to the original. Now, since he got YouTube rank, he's been playing Hypixel almost every day of the week. As you can see here, his last login was the 12th, which was just a few days ago. And also, as you can see here, he just happened to join a guild. So I'm sure that impersonator is having a lot of fun playing on that account, feeling like he is him, getting all the attention as if he were him. What he got away with here was absolutely incredible. I'm sure this will not happen anytime again in the near future. Without a doubt, Hypixel is definitely going to change their system after this for how they accept applications, making it sure mistakes like this don't happen twice. Now, normally it takes about two weeks for a YouTuber to lose the rank, but in this case, I think they're going to make an exception. I expect for this impersonator to get banned off the server, of course losing his rank within a couple days. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. I will definitely keep you updated on this story. Man, that is crazy, crazy stuff. He has still gotten away with it, and he's almost had a full week of YouTube rank. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it there for today. If you have enjoyed today's episode of Hypixel Alert, putting a like on the video would be much appreciated because it shows that you like what I do here. Ugh, crazy stories today, man. I'm telling you what. If you want to stay updated on all the news happening on Hypixel and you're new here, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on because you do not want to miss any of the news happening on Hypixel. As you can see, there's a lot happening and it's pretty insane. Guys, we're about this close to passing 35,000. Oh, I can't wait. But regardless, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any news to submit, my Twitter and Discord are in the description as always. Of course, all the links used in today's video will be in the description as well. But once again, thank you very much for watching. And hi, Pixel Nation now. Over 34.9 thousand subscribers. And I will see you next time.